Well, if you came to this video, you might be wondering what Verdun is all about. Well, first, let's see some gameplay, shall we? As you saw, Verdun is not like your average first person shooter games. It's more towards realism and more towards the feeling of being in war. Don't take me wrong, this game has been has given me a lot of fun for the couple hours I've played it. Let's get down to the facts about this game. First, we have the, the great engine mechanics that make this game really fun. There's great drag dolls physics and realistic graphics that makes you enjoy the view on the battlefield. One of the things I like about this shooter game is that you need teamwork tactics to achieve the goal. <laughs> well, the goal is like to win rounds and get to the enemy trench, but it's a goal. The microphone feature makes that possible and even easier, but the thing is, well, nobody talks. <laughs> well, if you have friends, well, that's great. You might you're, you might play like the game was intended to be played. When you get in the game, the first thing that pops out is the graphics. Like the beautiful, beautiful graphics. Like the sky looks great, the ground looks great, your gun looks great, and even the hands looks great. The next thing is probably going through the mind is what the hell am I supposed to do? <laughs> when you get into the first game you probably will run around and get shot down by by an enemy like most people do. I suggest to find cover and get a great angle on the enemy location. The bullet shot on rifles in the game is not a lot compared to Battlefield. Just aim for the head and you'll be sure to hit the body. <laughs> for the price, this game is pretty much worth it. If you like both World War scenarios, Verdun has a great maps. Well, great couple maps. So you won't always play the same boring map all over again. The cool thing is, each map has its own national, nationality soldier according to historical battles, so if you play in, uh, let's say, uh, a, a map where a country went against another country, well, you will play against those countries, like Germans versus French, Germans versus uh, people from uh, Britain, etc. Verdun has a, little, uh, has a little improvement to do, because 
It's not normal that you shoot your teammates more often than your enemies. <laughs> Please, make them look different. I know that the outfits are uh, historically accurate, but you could like make the names pop out or something. Also, a thing I'd like to mention is that don't be surprised if you die multiple times due to barbed wire. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me quite a few times. <laughs> but that is not a a fast-paced game like Call of Duty uh, franchise. It's more like a Battlefield game. I, I like comparing it to Battlefield because the feeling is pretty much really similar. Do not compare this to Battlefield 1 though. Battlefield 1 is aimed toward for, uh, fun... Yeah, it's aimed towards fun and not as realistic as in Battlefield. Battlefield is more uh, historical. Accuracy. And Battlefield is more like fun. Battlefield 1 is in towards fun, uh, big maps, etc. Overall, this game is worth the money, and I do not regret paying <coughs> the, the money I paid for the game because I got it for 20 bucks. But yeah, it's really worth it. So if you enjoy World War scenarios, go for it. It's worth it. You'll have a couple hours of fun, if not a couple hundred hours. So yeah, it's all up to you. It's not a fast-paced game, so if you're a Call of Duty lover, you might, that this game might disappoint you. Verdun might disappoint you. So yeah, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, peace out.